من كان عدوا لله وملائكته ورسله وجبريل وميكال فإن الله عدو للكافرين Allah is certainly the enemy of the disbelievers. Listen again. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَدُوٌّ لِلْكَافِرِينَ Allah is the enemy of the disbelievers. You know Arabic. Tell me. Is the verse saying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is an enemy of kufr or the kafirin? Does this verse say Allah is an enemy of disbelief or disbelievers. In the verse, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying he's an enemy of the concept, the concept, the belief, the kufr itself? Did Allah say he's the enemy of atheism, trinity, disbelief? No doubt, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the enemy of all that. But the verse, like others, in the Quran says, عَدُوٌ لِلْكَافِرِينَ For the disbelievers themselves. What love? What loyalty, what iman, what Islam is in your heart if you be loyal or love someone Allah referred to him as an enemy. If your wife had an enemy that you loved, she'll file for khula the next morning because she considers you disloyal. If a woman was slandering you, but your wife loved her and sat with her and mingled with her, you would divorce her on the spot because part of loyalty is your enemy is supposed to be her enemy as well. But according to some, when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those he declared enemies are supposed to be our friends. قُلْ أَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولُ فَإِن تَوَلَّوْا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْكَافِرِينَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْكَافِرِينَ Obey Allah and his messenger. But if they turn away, then Allah does not like, does not like the disbelievers. Doesn't like disbelief as the murji'a and modernists say. Yeah, that's included in the implied meaning of the verse. But the wording of Allam al ghuyub is, he doesn't like the disbelievers themselves. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْكَافِرِينَ وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ فَيُوَفِّيهِمْ أُجُورَهُمْ وَاللَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الظَّالِمِينَ Allah doesn't like the ظالمين. In Al-Bagha we said the ظالمين here is referring to of course the kafirin. It's in the context pertaining to the kafirin. Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say he hates the dun, the wrongdoers, oppression? Or did he say the oppressors? ظالمين, the oppressors themselves. This all responds to those who have bipolarism in their aqidah. The ones who say we hate zulum, but not zalimin. We hate kufr, but not kafirin. وَلَا تُجَادِلْ عَنِ الَّذِينَ يَخْتَانُونَ أَنفُسَهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ مَنْ كَانَ خَوَّانًا أَثِيمًا Allah does not like the betrayers and those deceitful. The meaning of khawan. In athima, is the criminals is sinful. And it's of course referring to the kuffar who have those characteristics. As Sa'di, Rahmullah Ta'ala said, when Allah negated his love of them, its opposite is affirmed, which is hating them. So he does not like those who are deceitful, sinful, when he's speaking about the kuffar. So you must follow along with that, if you love Allah. Did he say, he despises deceit and sins, the acts themselves, that's included. But the wording of Allam al ghuyub pertaining to the characteristics of the kuffar, he mentioned the actual people themselves doing the kuffar. We emphasize how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically mentions those who do those acts, the acts of kuffar, because the modernists and murja and munafiqeen are raising a generation echoing how one should only despise kufr, but not the, ka uh, the, the kafir himself. Diamonds and pearls and palaces awaiting the man of tawheed. Virgins and wine never ending time. And
gardens with rivers beneath